Hello traders, welcome to another tutorial. In this video here, I'm going to show you the process of, of identifying a good trade setup by doing the following. Number one, look for peak formations high or peak formations lows, depending where price is, to determine your directional bias. It can be either on the one hour time frame or on the four hour time frames. This is very key because it forms the foundation or the basis in which you're going to determine which price action you're going to take when the dealers provide the opportunity. The second thing you need to do is determine the level you are from that peak formations, right? Count the levels. How many levels do you have from that peak formations? That will tell you what to expect or what to anticipate the dealers are going to do in that particular day. After identifying number one and number two, You'll drop down to the 15 minutes time frame, look for a pattern which is in line with your directional bias. Remember your directional bias has been formed by identifying the peak formations high or the peak formations lows. You've already counted your levels, you know what level you are in the market. Now when you drop down to the 15 minutes time frame, look for a pattern which is in line with your directional bias. So having done that, the only way that you're going to get paid is dropping down to the 15 minutes time frame, find price action which forms your bias. You have to be specific on what you're looking for after you found your directional bias. So here we are on the one hour time frame. We are identifying our peak formations low, right? This is our peak formations low. As you can see what I'm doing here, this is our peak formations low. That is level one there a pullback price is at level two right so i've identified my peak formation lows i've identified my levels i understand price action we are at level two i'm anticipating the dealers to give us level three so so i'm boxing that being level one right and that is level two and its contraction so what i'm anticipating the market to do is to give us a peak low formations and then we get a buy opportunity in euro usd so this is what you have to do to identify your peak formations low identify your levels anticipate what the market is going to do next and then drop now to the 15 minutes time frame look for a pattern which is in line with your directional bias right so when i do this and i come to my charts and i find prices selling selling is not my option at this particular point in time I've formed my thesis, I've identified my peak formations, I've counted my levels, I'm looking for a buy opportunity, right? So let's drop down to the 15 minutes time frame. Let's see what the dealers are giving us this particular morning. So on the 15 minutes time frame, uh, looking at how price is presented on the charts, we can identify the Asian range. Price came below the Asian range. And now price is consolidating at this low. So potentially, we can get a potential low of the day buy opportunity in Euro USD. We simply have to wait and wait for the dealers to provide that opportunity. And once they provide it, we'll be able to take this buy opportunity. All right. So I have my parameters already met. Right. The line that I have these lows, this max, this is the lowest low that price reached. And once this low holds and we get our entry candlestick pattern for this particular pair, we will be able to engage it for a buy opportunity because the pattern which is being presented is in line with my directional bias. So all that we have to do right now is wait patiently, patiently until when the dealers are ready to shift the price, we can be able to engage it and see if the dealers are going to give us the pips that we're looking for in this particular morning so we're gonna do market execution and do uh, buy stop orders in place when the dealers are ready to shift the market to my intended direction they will activate the orders and then we accept the risk and see if the dealers are going to reward us this morning that's all that we have to do we have identified all the variation that we need to identify we have a potential peak low for the day trading buy opportunity all right one position we're doing market execution and we're doing other positions we're putting orders in place this is the law that has been locked 
and I'm looking for price to shift to this direction to give us a buy opportunity. All right. So my risk has been identified. I'm going to do a market execution on this one. And then I'm going to have buy orders as well. And let's see how the dealers are going to behave this morning. So this is the process that this is all that you have to do. Right. Identify the pattern which is in line with your direction. And once the dealers provide that pattern to you, accept the risk, enter the market, let the market do what they have to do. All right. So I've already executed this one trade. And let's see how the rest are going to run. If the orders will be activated as well, it will be a good thing to see if the dealers are going to reward. Reward us uh, this particular morning. So all that we have to wait for is patience and wait and see if price is going to shift to our direction. Right, so this is the result that we talk about. You see that how that kind of flipped the bullish one time like that. Right. You simply wait patiently and wait once you have your directional buyers and let the market flow. Let the market flow. Right, so we have our target place, our target profit in place. If the market gets to our place, we'll get to get us out of the market. But this is the last push, this is the last third level up. And then after the third level up, we're gonna get a peak high, and then this market will start selling because our overall directional bias remains bearish. Right, this is. A retracement buy opportunity we wait for the reset and then we start trending bearish with the overall directional bias because from our higher time frames we already have two levels of drop complete we had a reset with one level which is complete so we have some more weeks of levels of bearishness in euro usd right so until that reset happens Currently, at the moment, we're looking for buy opportunities in Euro USD. So let's wait and see. Let's be patient and see if the dealers are going to reward us to our target profit. And I'll be able to book some profits again and let the rest run. Right? I'll take my partials and then allow the rest of the trades run until the end of the day. So at this point in time, I will move my stop loss and put it put it at break even on this on this next candle and protect my profits, right? And kindly consider subscribing, turn on the notification bell for future videos wherever we post them. So let's see how this market is running for the day. So you see the process. From identifying your peak formations to going down to the lower time frame to identify a pattern which is in line with your directional bias and this is what i do every day before i look for a trade opportunity on the lower time frame all right and eventually this is the result that we have out of your usd all right our target has been taken out and level three has been completed so we ex exit the buy opportunities so let's wait for the market to develop and later on next week we can look for sell potential sell opportunity all right so you can see the asian range london gave us a false move inducing people to sell all right after inducing people to sell, price came back to the low of the Asian range and created a pattern, all right? So once you see this price behavior and it's in line and it conforms with your directional bias, this is where you put all your focus and your energy and wait until the dealer's ready to move the market and then you engage 
and wait for the dealers to book the profits right so we can see the london the asian range london falls move and now we can identify the new york shift when they lock the law of the day in line with your directional bias to give you that buy opportunity right so this is all that i look for if the dealers don't give me these setups well i have no trade for that particular day maybe i will have other several other pairs that i'll be able to look for so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one